babes. So, oh, <laughs> can't sit there. So I'm getting ready. It is Juan's birthday. So we're gonna go out to Seattle to celebrate, have some dinner. I'm so excited. We booked this reservation two weeks ago. It's always like a really, really packed restaurant. We are just getting ready now. Let me show you my outfit actually. I love this outfit and it's sad. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a picture in it. I just have this sweater from Aritzia on. I have my faux leather pants from Abercrombie that you guys have seen in a haul video that I did. And then just some booties too. Kind of going for like an all black look tonight. Love it. <laughs> Juan's talking to his mom. Bye bye. Is that the first time they've called you all day? Yeah. Aw, but they said happy birthday via text, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, our reservation's at 8.30. We gotta run. It's 8.02. We gotta drive. We're... Oh, my phone. How could I forget that? Thank you. I feel like when I'm not with Juan, I'm like ahead of schedule, but every time I'm with Juan, we are always like late to things. Look at your outfit. You look good, birthday boy. So tonight, Saturday now, we are celebrating Juan's birthday, like with his friends now. Anyway, so we just got back from the grocery store. We got tons and tons of stuff for tonight. And then I'm also need to like prep a few things, like a, a side potato dish, um, some deviled eggs, the appetizers, and we need to have lunch too. I'm starving. We did go to Costco and we got like one of those rotisserie chickens. I'm salivating. Aren't you? Yeah. Oh my god. What? How many burgers did we get? So we're gonna make burgers, and if you guys have never tried these burgers from Whole Foods, it is the Butcher's Blend Burgers. I think I've talked about it before in a, in a vlog. These are, hands down, the best burgers ever. Ever. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but it is like ever, especially with the the buns too from Whole Foods, the um, brioche buns. I've definitely talked about this in another vlog. These buns, they are the best, like this combo, so good. So we're just gonna get everything unloaded here, organized, we'll start making things later. I mean, I'll get ready, all that sort of stuff. Oh, the Oatly's at the bottom, okay. I thought this whole thing was full of patties. I was like, oh my god. I'm assuming you just want to stick all of that in the refrigerator? Oh, yes. You alright? So here's kind of a quick overview. We got a few Oatly's, got some cheddar cheese, got all of the burger patties. Looks like Juan just got some bread for himself. These are another packet of the buns that we use. I think he already put away the rest of the buns. This is the best bagels. Got some mayonnaise to make the deviled eggs. I already showed you the chicken, avocado oil, the potatoes, to, core ingredient to make the potatoes. And then at Costco, we got brie, smoked gouda. As you guys know, I've raved about. This is like the best smoked gouda. Picked up Fernet as well. Got some smoked salmon, I think, is this? Yeah, to go with the bagels. Um, just part of our normal groceries. We got some raspberries for appetizers, this delicious warm bread, a pack of these crackers as well. Huge thing of this jam. This is Juan's favorite 
jam. And then finally, we found these at Costco. They had it at our Costco, and we stocked up on three of these creme brulees. They look so cool because they come in actual glass jars, so I can keep these, reuse them for something else, but we're probably just gonna have this as part of like the dessert for tonight. That's why we got so many of them. And then a huge thing of Diet Coke too. We needed a refill on this, so yeah, kind of everything we got. Looks like you're putting things away after me. <laughs> After I talk about them? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if they fit. So I just peeled the potatoes and I have Juan over here using the mandolin. And then we are heating up some water to boil eggs, to make the deviled eggs. So over here, these are gonna be like the stacked potatoes that I've made on the vlog before, but they're super, super delicious. They go in like a muffin tin, a bunch of ingredients mixed in. I'll show it to you, like when it's, when it's all said and done. But um, I'm just trying to get as much prepped now before the party starts. So like this is like ready to go and stuff. So I'm gonna get out all the ingredients that we're gonna need. We need oregano, thyme. You think we need more? Yeah, what do you think? It's a lot. I mean, we're gonna have a lot of food. Mm -hmm. People can have like up to two burgers, right? Well, any more, but yeah. yeah. And then we have this, and we're gonna have so much appetizers too. I think we're good. And we have dessert. And we have dessert too. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good here then. Oh, that's fine. Look at that. The last one I did was awful. Pick up the pace. I just did like two eggs while you're still working on the one. We're trying to be us first. About time I got ready. I was looking rough today. So it's after 7.30 now. I need to start on like the appetizers, cutting up like all the cheese, getting everything out. People should be showing up in the next like 20 minutes or so. I'm excited. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Apparently I set a timer for 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna say the A word so block your devices. Alexa, cancel timer. 20 minute timer cancel. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, so yeah, we're kind of all set up. We got the table set up. The kitchen is as clean as it's gonna get right now. We have some lettuce out drying for the burgers. <sighs> for my outfit, I am just wearing a new Skims shirt and then my a favorite, a Goldie jeans. This top actually is a new one that I got. And it's just like another color in the favorite tee that I've shown several times before. But yeah, really excited for like this new addition, like this new color way. I actually have a lot of other skim stuff that I got. I can show you guys tomorrow. And then I got some Lululemon stuff too. So yeah, I'll do like a little mini haul tomorrow showing you guys that stuff. Looks like Juan put the music down here. Time to get ready now. <laughs> Ooh. 
How do you have energy? Are you not hungover? No. Yeah, me either. Juan has been calling me unicorn because of this. <laughs> I just got up. Juan's been up. And it's almost 11 a.m. Oh my gosh! <sighs> got Juan a new yeah, espresso machine for his birthday. Here it is. It was so funny because last night, like, all of his friends. This was like a topic of conversation, which I didn't even think it would be, which is really funny. Here's his attempt at doing art. <laughs> so you're five. 100%. 100%. 100%. I told you to stop drinking. You told me to stop drinking when I had this much left in my beer. You can't say no, it's true, I remember that. It wasn't even a beer. It was a cider. <laughs> I love cider, it's still alcohol. Also, let's be clear, I had two ciders. <laughs> That's how often I drink, you know what I mean? And sips of whiskey. Oh, and I did have sips of whiskey. That's true. Because all of his guy friends, they like love whiskey. And I brought over this one, the Johnny Walker Blue Label. And I didn't realize that it was such a, like an expensive bottle. And I was like, oh, well, if it's like a $250 bottle, I have to try it. Like, I want to see what $250 tastes like. <laughs> and then they got him a bottle of whiskey. Where is it? And then his friends ended up getting him this bottle of whiskey. I'm not sure if any of you guys are whiskey fans. We, had, we didn't try this one last night at all, but it was really, really sweet and nice of them. Oh, yeah, it. oh, it opens really cool. I can't do it one-handed. There you go. Spins around. It's so cool. Whoop. What? You want it? I thought you said it's like behind the bottle or something. Yeah, but it's like a dog. Yeah. I would assume it would Do come with know? like no, but I feel like these sorts of things come with like cards. Curve cask finish. The innovation, the experience, the taste, <laughs> the legacy. Fancy. Is the Seahawks on today? No, Monday night. Monday. Oh. Alright, well. We'll see what we get up to today. It's probably going to be a very chill day I need to recover. Oh, do you want to watch the movie later? Yeah. Okay. What's the movie called again? Dune? Yeah. Yeah, it came out on um, HBO. I mean, it's in theaters too, right? But, I mean, HBO, home, going to a theater. You know. Oh. Alright, I'm feeling much better. As you can see, I pulled myself together a little bit. I think I just really needed to eat something and that was pretty much it. Now I'm feeling just fine. But let's go ahead and take the moment to do our haul that I was talking about yesterday of Skims and Lululemon. I have so many like exciting pieces. I also didn't really realize how much I've kind of like accumulated as well. So, um, oh, the top from last night. I should probably go get that. Okay, so Skims. Let's start with Skims. So I got the cotton tee in this umber color. This umber color is pretty standard in the Fits Everybody collection, so I was excited that they finally brought it over to the cotton collection. As you guys may have known if you have seen like my Skims collection video, I love Skims and the cotton collection is specifically like my favorite collection out of all of Skims too. So yeah, I was really excited when they actually came out in another color in this tee. This tee is like a staple of mine. I've also mentioned it in like my top 15 favorite t-shirts and tank tops video too. Just a classic. It's long enough that you can tuck it into and it doesn't come like untucked. You saw that I did that last night with this t-shirt. It is also like a little bit more curved and like more defined in the waist too, which I really like. It's really stretchy, it's soft, it's lightweight. It's all around super great. I always get this in a size extra small. And then I also ended up getting the exact same color, but in the tank top version, this is like the mock neck. It's kind of like a muscle tee. This is another one of like my rider dies. And I just like this color so much. 
thought I wanted to get it in this one too. This I get in a size extra small too. This one is a little bit shorter than the tank top. Some other new things that I got that I haven't tried before. I got this like ribbed cotton t-shirt in the color bone, I believe. Got this in a size extra small since that's the size that I usually get my t-shirts in. This one is like really stretchy too. It kind of fits different than the non-ribbed t-shirt version that I was just showing you guys. I don't know if I'm like a huge fan of this. I think if I recall, like the armpits like go a little bit lower. The length of it is a little bit shorter than the t-shirt the non rib t-shirt version of it and this one doesn't have as much like curvature like defining like waist i don't know if it's like my favorite though let's continue with the cotton collection the rest is pretty much like intimates that i ended up getting to follow suit with the umer collection ended up getting the tanga briefs this is like oh one of my favorites i know i keep saying it but of course i'm just gonna restock on like my favorite things you know this is my favorite like nighttime underwear it's so flattering it's really 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 stretchy as you can see too i get this in a size extra small love this like kind of a set too and then this is my first time getting the cotton bralette you guys already know that this and the fits everybody collection is like my favorite everyday bra i'm actually wearing it right now in like the cocoa color but i have yet to try the cotton one this one fits just like the fits everyone one does it is like less stretchy because it's obviously a different material but i did go with my size small that i would get in the fits everybody bralette and that's like the perfect size in this so that's good to see that through the different collections like this size like remains consistent the straps are adjustable just like the fits everybody one and this one is just like the cotton material so it's like so soft obviously this one has like a little bit more weight to it if i had to compare the fits everybody one is like a little bit more weightless but this is like just as supportive and it just like feels like oh it's just cupping your boobs like beautifully you know what i mean ah i don't know love it and then i also got the racerback bra to try out this one actually reminds me of like the calvin klein ones that were like so popular before it has this waistband down below that is a different material than the upper half of this this is consistent too i got this in a size small and that's the perfect size the straps are non-adjustable because it is a racerback but this is a a good fit on me overall as well it's really soft it's stretchy really like it really simple and then heading into a couple pairs of the underwear that are brand new that i haven't tried out before so this is the ribbed boy shorts but like the shorty one not the boxers i got this in a size extra small this fits pretty good actually like the waist is nice it's not like overly tight the rest of this material is pretty stretchy too this pair is a little bit cheeky too but overall i feel like it's like a really comfortable pair especially like to go to sleep in and then i also got the same one but more like in a brief so this is very similar to the tango one that I just shared like this but I do think that this one has like a little bit more coverage in the back so if you liked that one but you thought like maybe it was like a little bit too cheeky I would look into these ones the band on this is similar to like the last one so it's a different material the rest is ribbed I got this in a size extra small like the way that this fits this one sits more like at my belly button or like a little bit below it's not easy to maneuver and manipulate like it is for these ones like these ones you can wear high-waisted or you can pull it down a little bit this one you don't really have like that movability and flexibility you know it's nice and stretchy it's not constrictive at all i also got my hands on the fits everybody high neck bralettes i've been wanting this ever since that they dropped it i think it was like way over a month ago at this point it is obviously like the fits everybody material that i've already spoken about this one though i got in a size extra small and a small and the small was too big like there was too much material like right around here so i actually had a size down in this from the typical size that i usually get so this is in a size extra small so figured i would mention that because otherwise if i kept it a small i had the extra fabric it wasn't supportive at all it didn't sit like underneath your boobs to give you the support that it needs you know what i mean like it sat like a little bit lower which was a little weird but with the size extra small it fits closer to being underneath my boobs to provide the support so anyways, something interesting to mention about it, but it's a nice top, that is for sure. And then the last thing that I got from Skims was the one shoulder to try out. So this is a similar story to the high neck. This I got in a size small. It is big on me though. So I thought it was gonna be the same size as if it's everybody like bralette. Nope, I think I would need a size down on this to a size extra small. And the reason why I say that is that while like the one shoulder 
is nice and then like this strap is adjustable and everything it's this part of it this fits like really really loose where you kind of have to like keep pulling at it like tugging at it a little bit to stay up so in this one i would actually recommend that you size it down to this but yeah that's like the skim stuff <laughs> that i got kind of exciting and then i do have quite a bit of lululemon stuff all right so let's get comfortable let's do this okay so the first thing that i ended up getting a lot of this let's preface this a lot of this i showed on my instagram so if you don't follow me over on instagram every tuesday when lululemon does new releases that's their new release day i post like a little flat lay of like all of my recommendations from that week's launch that like my top picks the things that i'm getting myself or the things that like i would recommend so I do that every Tuesday. Go follow me over on Instagram if you don't already so that you can see all of my pics. But um, a lot of these things that I'm gonna show you was everything that I posted in that story. So you would have already seen me kind of mention this, but I also wanna mention that because things you know sell out really quickly at Lululemon. So that is a way to like get ahead of it before I show it like in a haul and like how it fits and everything. If that makes sense, it'll help you not to miss out on anything if you were interested is what i'm getting at anyway so the first thing i got was just like the boyfriend tee but it was in this heathered copper brown color this was already sold out in a size zero which is the typical size that i get in this so i went up to a size two which is totally fine it just is more of like the boyfriend fit looks really good with leggings bike shorts things like that is typically like how i pair this amazing stretchy lightweight material it's just like a classic it's a go-to easy effortless silhouette like it's just it looks so good and then i also got another one of the ribbed train bras so this is something that i shared that i got in black in a lululemon haul and i mentioned that i was really eyeing this green color which is like a deep evergreen green color it's beautiful so love this i feel like this is like a hidden gem on their website it's like fully in stock yet it has like the best fit out of majority of their sports bras and i feel like this can be converted to just wearing for like daily wear too or like pairing it with like outfits love the rib material the band underneath is like really supportive love the little seams throughout the straps are adjustable too love the length of it love the coverage and like the square neckline i can't say enough good things about that one i was so excited to get this next one is the la open back like mock neck long sleeve this is in the color black granite which is like an obsession i'm so glad that they're starting to expand this color into like everything you know and it's really hard to explain this color if you guys wanted me to it kind of has like some purple tones to it it kind of reminds me of the color periscope from aritzia if you if you guys know like that color from Aritzia too. Anyways, this one, it's really, really stretchy. I thought that this would be like a nice elevated t-shirt that I could wear more casually, maybe even dress it up to like go out in since it has like an open back to it. I did size down to a size zero in this. I did get this in a size zero and a two. I already returned the two because I just felt like the zero fit like more tight like overall how it's supposed to it's not loose it wasn't had like extra material anywhere like on the sleeves and stuff and then i ended up getting my hands on this reversible crop tank top this you guys sold out so freaking fast it came in three colors i couldn't believe like how quickly it sold out but it is reversible so it has this purple color on the inside i am just more partial to just keeping it and wearing it on this side which is the black granite side this i did size down to a size zero two it is really really stretchy as you can see and so with a size two it just kind of had like more fabric overall yes it's a crop top but i also wanted to, to act as a bralette as well so i wanted it to be a little bit tighter so i didn't have to wear a bra with it so that's why i opted for the size zero really really soft material and it's really thick since it is reversible too i'm so obsessed with that and then to match all of that, I ended up getting the LA wide leg pants as well. So this, uh, I got in a size zero, black granite too. It has like a super wide leg, but what's amazing about this is I don't need to get it hemmed, which wouldn't have been a problem because as you guys know at Lululemon, it's free alterations. You can get this hemmed for free, but it saves me a trip, which is obviously really nice about it. It's so like flowy and comfortable overall. It is a little bit thicker too. Oh, it's so nice, you guys. I will say I did size down to a size zero in this because I it's my typical size that I get in pants and joggers as you guys already know but the waist is really really tight it doesn't offer a lot of stretch when like pulling it on so I struggle a little bit to get it on but once it's on it's like really really comfy it's not like an issue at all but I just thought I would throw that out here that the waist 
isn't as stretchy to get on so you might struggle with it a little bit if you size down like i do otherwise you may be fine or if you are concerned i would maybe size up in it but i wanted the rest of the pant to fit like a specific way so i'm fine with the little bit of a struggle to get it on at the beginning and it sits really high waisted it has a little butt pocket on it oh it's so cute and then another pant that i got was the nulu high rise crop so what color is this again i have no idea what it is off the top of my head and obviously they have an abbreviation on the tag this was like going to be a hit or miss for me i wasn't sure if this was like going to completely match my skin tone and wash me out and not look good because i didn't want it to make it look like i was naked you know what I mean, by wearing these but surprisingly i don't think that it does and i actually really like these it is thicker too so it reminds me of the new instill legging a little bit more than the lines but it is the same fabric the new loop fabric as all of them so it's still like really really soft as like the original aligns i like the seam cutout that happens right above the knee i think that that's really flattering and then the back of these v just like aligns so i'm actually pleasantly surprised about these and these are a 23 inch inseam so it sits like a little bit above my ankle on me again i'm five one so it sits a little bit longer which i like it has a little pocket in the back all right camera died but we're back we have only a couple more things to go through so the next up is the all-around crew sweater so online I really liked the way that this looked I like the ribbed and then all of like the seams throughout I just feel like Lululemon always kills it with like the seams and the details and that's what makes me like love their stuff so much so I got this in a size 2 which is the smallest size that it came in this is the color white opal but I gotta be honest I'm not a fan of this material it kind of feels like the swiftly materials which I love the swiftly tops but in a sweater I don't think I'm gonna love that because I feel like literally any churn I take I'm going to snag the heck out of this so I I'm not gonna keep this personally and it also just doesn't have that cozy sweater material that you would want in a sweater at least what I would want in a sweater so I just don't find it like overall that comfortable either I mean it is nice and it's like stretchy and everything but i don't know it's not like the typical like sweater material that i really want you know and then last up i ended up getting two colors in the rest less cropped half zip so i first originally got it in this gorgeous green color and then this last week i saw that they came out with it in this silver white color so you guys are gonna have to let me know what color you like on me more because i don't think i'm gonna keep both but i do really really like this this is another thing that i ended up getting in a size two and a size zero because i wasn't sure what size i was going to be i opted to keep the size zero i feel like it just fits better overall of how i wanted to and there's less material and stuff like in the underarms so it fits closer to how i imagine that it's supposed to fit this is so freaking stretchy it's so soft the sleeves are perfect length to like put your thumbs in the holes there's not like extra length which is really nice for me love the half zip love the length of it it's like a little bit more cropped but it's like a long crop i feel like this is going to be a really nice piece that i can wear on its own or to layer like i could throw like like my wonder puff vest over top i can wear it like under things if i was to go skiing it's kind of like what i see it for but i'm just so obsessed with the color of it and just like the overall look of it you guys it's gorgeous like the pattern of them oh i'm so excited so anyways that is all the pieces that i wanted to show hopefully this wasn't too long but hopefully if it was you guys enjoyed this little haul and you guys know the drill everything that i talk about will be listed down below the color the size the link to the item and of course my measurements are down there for you as well so anyway let's go ahead and continue the vlog <laughs> i can't believe it's almost 1 p.m now i just got finished like trying everything on like all the things that i just showed you for the haul so that i can insert footage of me trying things on for you i was a little exhausting i'm not gonna lie but now i am just going to look at some emails there's a few like work emails i would really like to get to today before tomorrow look at me just having so much energy all of a sudden <laughs> I actually moved around a bunch of the furniture in this room. I don't know if you can tell just from looking here, like my clothing rack is over here. It used to be actually behind you. And then my desk is facing towards the room before it was like this way, you know what I mean? So I could look outside, but I don't know. I didn't really like the layout. So one night, literally, a night, it was like 11 p.m. I was like, uh, let's just move things around. <laughs> I also had two desks in this room and now I just have one. Um, these are like my old desks that were at my apartment. And so I just brought it over here when I got my new desk like that 
wood restoration hardware one. Um, but eventually, I mean, that one will be over here one of these days. So um, I won't have this desk here anymore too. And the one at my house is like a little bit bigger too. Actually, let me just show you. From where I'm sitting, you have my clothing rack over here. You have the chair that I usually sit at to do my hauls. Here's my desk area. The clothing rack used to be over here and the mirror stayed. So yeah, that's kind of like my view now. I actually kind of like it. I'm still trying to think like what else I really want to do with this room. Cause I, I need to have like the center empty to do filming. You know what I mean? I need to have like that space, which I, I don't typically like. I don't like putting things in the corners of rooms because I don't feel like it fills out the room nice enough, you know? So I'm trying to make it look the best with doing that. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out like what else I can do in this room. I was thinking like maybe an area rug. I'm not a huge fan of carpet. Like I'd prefer hardwood floors, but it is what it is. Like the upstairs has, has carpet. Um, so I was thinking like maybe like a huge area rug, although I don't know what style of area rug I would want that would also like go with this carpet. And I was also thinking like a massive, like art piece or something to go on that wall too because everything's so bare and then I was thinking about adding curtains above this too um so I don't spend enough time in this room just like staring at the room to decide what I want to do it's like I come in here and I work and stuff and then like I go home so eventually we'll do things to this room but for now it is what it is okay let's respond to some emails <laughs> And after this, I think that I am going to read a little bit. Juan's actually downstairs watching some football and I can hear him. Football as in soccer. Um, and I know that because he's yelling at the TV or screaming, goal. So I don't really want to watch um, soccer right now. So I think that I am actually going um, to spend a little time reading. I actually, this is going to be so random guys. So I've been reading The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck and it's another one of those things that it was like late at night it was after 10 p.m why does this happen to me i feel like i get like creative urges after 10 p.m but anyways i was laying in bed and i don't even know like what prompted it I, oh i think i saw like an instagram post um from these accounts that i follow for like books and stuff and i don't know i had this one in my possession already and I just I've never read it and I was like you know what let's start it let's start the book so yeah two nights ago I started this and it has been an amazing read so far I'm about halfway through it right now it's been kind of eye-opening because I feel like some of the things that he's talking about like really resonates with me and I'm like oh I didn't realize like I actually do something like that too or I can improve in that regard so um I've been going through it and I've been like highlighting certain passages that I just really wanted to remember come back to so anyways let's see if we can read a little bit more of this today i also have been adding to my amazon cart a few more books that i've been wanting to get that's around like the same topics i am so happy that i'm kind of like in the mood to read it definitely like comes and goes and i don't know like let's end the year like trying to read some new books you know um so after i finished that one what i ended up um, putting in my cart and like what i want to read next i want to read atomic habits um that looks like a good one i also want to read the alchemist i want to read the daily laws that one looks really good and the almanac of naval ravikant uh, i want to read that as well so anyways those are kind of like the books that are next up and as i was kind of saying i discovered some new accounts to follow on instagram and that's like like what kind of sparked it so i'll put on the screen the accounts that i follow on instagram that recommend these books and a lot of other books as well if you guys are looking for some new books to read or looking for i don't know some inspiration to even start reading again it's been a lot of fun
burgers round two. We had tons of leftovers, so having leftovers for lunch. Intermission for these little apple Ooh. pie sweets. Why are you grabbing them with your hand? Crazy. <laughs> Apple pie sweets and some coffee. It came with caramel sauce and we're trying to warm it up a little bit. Let's see how good you are. Have you been practicing? No. No. I suck. Okay, because it looks like you just poured into a lob. A shadow. It looks like a man with a cape. No? Look how broad his shoulders are. <laughs> mm, they're kind of hot. Let them rest. Shut up. <laughs> You're so annoying. Hot. Really hot. You should have let him rest. <laughs> it's not really hot. Yeah. Can you grab this? <laughs> mm. Mm. Are they good? Yeah, I'm double dipping. Like McDonald's good? No, the McDonald's ones, we've, we've gone over this. They've gone downhill. Is that style? That style, yeah, a little bit. Yeah? Shouldn't be. The apple pieces are like really small, so it's easy. <clears throat> and then the outside is crispy like a, like a spring roll. That one's gooing out on the side. Oh, it's hot. But? Delicious. <laughs> but the apples are hot. Mm -hmm. I like. Yummy. Let's get back to the movie, babe. Hey. Babe, I can't be eating this and watching the movie. So we have to watch. It's a really intense. Movie. Your sport updates. Yes. <laughs> this is boring. Mmm. Mm. Oh, you got my hand. <laughs> so Dune was pretty good. I thought so at least. We'll see if there's a Dune 2. So much cliffhangers of like what's gonna happen and everything. Anyway, so it's like um, almost 7 p.m. now. My power went out in my house. I wasn't really in a rush to like get home, but got a text that the power was restored. So I'm just packing up everything to go home tonight. It's Sunday. So gotta go home to little Oliver. I left him home the last day and yeah, gotta get prepped for work. I'm gonna start to edit like this vlog to go up on Tuesday. I would have stayed here, but I didn't bring like my work laptop or like anything, you know what I mean? So yeah, so I'm gonna pack up here. We're gonna go home and I'm just gonna end off the vlog here. Thanks for watching a weekend in my life. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys had a really great weekend yourself and I'll just see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye guys, I love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.